So you've likely heard of players like Jaco Pistorius, or maybe John Patitucci, or the mighty Billy Sheehan. So one thing about those players that kind of connects them is their way to fluidly move up and down the fingerboard of the neck with just like the greatest of ease. And for so long, I had real problems doing the same, like being able to move up and down the fingerboard without kind of like my fingers sort of like tying themselves in knots and tumbling over themselves. So in this lesson, I want to show you a couple of techniques that when I found them had such a profound effect of the way I played around the instrument that I honestly believe that I wouldn't play like I do if I didn't find these techniques. I actually use a really specific shifting technique that I want to show you. So to demonstrate these techniques so you can actually see them in action, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna improvise for like 10, 20 seconds, then I'm gonna tell you what the technique is that I'm using, and then we're gonna slow down the improvisation that I've just gone, we're gonna go into. So I can point out exactly when I'm using it, and then I'm gonna show you a specific technique that you can use to get this in your playing as well. So here's the little improvisation. So what you might not have seen there is when I'm shifting up and down the neck when I'm playing, 90 to 95% of the time when I'm shifting position, so I'm going say for instance down here and then down here and then maybe up here. And then down. When I'm doing that, I'm only shifting 90 to 95% of the time, I'm only shifting with either my index finger or my little finger. Index or little finger. But it's even nerdier than that. For 90 to 95% of the time, when I'm moving up the neck, moving up, I only shift with my little finger. Now, when I'm descending down the instrument, I'm shifting going down with my index, okay? So when I'm going up, I shift with my pinky. When I go down, I shift with my index. So what I'm gonna do, just to prove that to you, we're just gonna watch that improvisation or a little section of that improvisation in slow-mo. So you can check that out. And then I'm gonna show you a really great exercise so you can get this into your playing as well. So let's check out the slow-mo. <laughs> Before I show you this exercise, remember this is just a system of shifting around the fingerboard. It's gonna give your hands some rules and regulations of how to move around. Without these, you're just gonna end up with, you know, the old sausage fingers all falling over each other and looking like a complete dog's dinner. So what we wanna do is give ourselves some systems. So if you play a four note, four note per string scale, major scale in this scenario, it will give you a great kind of test bed to mess around with this technique, okay? So what we're gonna do is take a G major scale, we're gonna play four notes per string. One, two, three, four. Remember, we're gonna shift with that little finger, okay? So G, A, B, C. Then we move to the next string, we play D, E, F sharp, G, that shift with the little finger. Then we're gonna play a, B, C, shift with the little finger to the D, and then again, the E, F sharp, G, and then shift with the little finger 
to the ninth. Right, so just let me speed that up slightly for you. Okay, here we go. Shift, 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 shift. Okay, now going down again. Shift, so A, G, F sharp, shift, D, C, B, shift. All of the shifts are with my index finger. G, F sharp, E, shift, C, B, A, shift with a G. So the whole exercise looks like this. What I really recommend as well is getting into sliding that finger. So instead of picking it all, I'm picking it all down here with the plucking hand. Instead of that, slide the little finger. Slide, 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 slide. And then we're gonna slide the index finger going down. Slide, 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 slide. Okay, so slide, 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 slide. Okay, it gives your lines just this really great kind of just vibe to them. And when, when I play, I'm using all those slides and articulations, hammer-ons and stuff like that, just to give it that extra pizzazz. So that is how to get started with these, these two techniques. First of all, the pinky shift and then the, the index shift coming down. Um, you can mix it around as well. You could try shifting up with your index and then down with your little finger. Um, just mix it up and try and build some systems into your playing and trust me, it will be worth its weight in gold to your playing. Now, before you go anywhere, I also wanted to give you a quick shout to let you know that we've got an amazing membership offer over on scottsbassessons.com right now. You can grab an annual membership for, I think it equates to less than $3 a week, which is bonkers. I'll put a link below so you can check that out if you want to, but it ends tomorrow, okay? So that offer ends tomorrow at Pacific Midnight, okay? Pacific time, midnight. So if you've been thinking about becoming a member, of Scott's Bass Lessons, hit the link, check it out. You get a 14 day free trial anyway, so you can try the entire thing for free. And we've also just launched a massive new system into the membership called Players Path, which is the first and only online performance-based learning system for bass players, over 50 hours of tutorials with me, um, and I can take you from beginner to super advanced, all online, all from the comfort of your own home. It's really worth checking out. So again, the link is below. Again, the offer ends tomorrow night at midnight Pacific. Booyah! Take it easy, I'll see you in the shed.